Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today we're actually taking a look at the Saihu office chair. This is the model M18M148. In this video, I'm just gonna walk you through some of the installation steps. We'll take a look at the user manual, and then I'm gonna show you some of the features of the chair, and I'll just walk you through pretty much everything, giving you my overall thoughts. So let's first start with um, the overall like look and feel of the chair. Um, you know, one of the things I really love about this chair is you have this nice mesh back, so this is really breathable. You have an adjustable neck rest up here on the top, so this basically can go up or down, um, pretty easy to just move it with your arms. And then you have this um, piece here you can tighten or loosen with a hex bolt, so you can adjust the actual top of the headrest. You also have this really nice lumbar support back here. It's very easy to use. You just simply move this dial in or out, so you're either gonna add or remove pressure that's gonna go into your low back. So this is really gonna help if you're maybe someone that would traditionally deal with like back pain. Um, overall, the only branding on this is you have their Saihu logo here on the back. Um, the cushion itself for actual seating is very comfortable, very thick, and you've got um, you know some good room here, good space, very wide. You also have these two armrests. These are both um, adjustable, so you can actually push this button in and raise these up or down. So fairly basic in terms of adjustability. Now, in terms of the chair itself, you have one adjustment point here. You can choose to either lock or unlock the chair if you look at the diagram here. Um, locking this will basically just lock the back piece. If you have it unlocked, it's gonna kinda go with you as you lean into it. If it's locked, it's gonna stay in the exact position that you kept it at when you locked it. Now, beyond that, you have um, your seat height, so you can um, pull this basically up while sitting in the seat, and this will either raise or lower the seat. So fairly standard in terms of chair adjustability. Um, you also have these nice silver um, leg pieces that then go into some nice rollers. These seem to be pretty good in terms of smoothness, just rolling across the floor. In terms of setup and installation, this was pretty straightforward. I was able to do it in about a half hour. It did come with um, a kit here with all the bolts and you can see there was also some extra pieces so really nice just in case you lose any it came with a hex bolt tool here basically just uh, something fairly easy and this was super easy to use just because of the grip um, the manual is pretty detailed it walks you through nice picture diagrams of everything shows you all the functions of the chair in terms of all the things we just talked about you do also have a backrest tilt tension adjustment which is something i didn't mention but that's right here um, so you can actually adjust this to adjust the tilt of the actual backrest. So plenty of features in terms of options there. Um, beyond that, you know, the manual again was fairly straightforward to go through, has a few other languages in here as well. And then um, in terms of just overall setup, it was fairly easy. All the bolts um, were easy, uh, you know, to put in because of the fact that it came with this hex wrench. And um, one thing I noticed with this particular chair was I did have to manually assemble the whole base. Other chairs that I've had in the past, sometimes the base would just be all put together or partially put together. But I actually really, really like the look of this base compared to other chairs that I've used in the past that are usually just more of a generic plastic. This just has more of an executive office style feel to it. Overall, um, the chair is comfortable and with that adjusted lumbar support as well as the headrest, um, I found to be, you know, fairly nice in terms of a decent office chair. So whether or not you're going to be using this for just general office work, gaming, anything like that, I think this definitely would be a good bet. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. Hopefully you found it helpful and I will talk to you later.